Well, in one of the just low-key awesome bowl matchups of the year, on December 28th, we get the Texas Bowl. It's the Texas Tech Red Raiders facing off against the Ole Miss Rebels, 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Live from Houston. I think as a show, this is one of our favorite bowl matchups this year, right? Texas Tech. Absolutely. Obviously found their guy in Joey McGuire. I think we were a little, we were just concerned that the schedule is going to be a little too tough for them to get to bowl season in year one, but they're here. They got a seven and five record in year one. Seem to be the high watermark in Lubbock over the past decades, and we're getting it in year one. And there's only more talent and reinforcements coming into Lubbock. And there's just plenty of hope around that program going forward. So, the vibes are immaculate for Tech coming into this game. They don't necessarily jump off the page in any category, but they did finish 31st in scoring and average over 460 yards per game on offense. Again, as they get more experience, as they get more talent into that program, I think we're only going to see that stock go up. And they're matching up in this game against an Ole Miss team that's probably a little shocked at how they got here, right? We talk about a lot that doesn't want to be here syndrome, that, you know, bowl time blues, if you will. They start 7-0 and and then lose four of their five, last five to go from a threat to winning the SEC West. They actually had the door wide open for them to win the SEC West at, with what was going on at Alabama and LSU. And now they're fighting in the Texas Bowl at the end of the year. So a huge dichotomy of expectations here. Lane Kiffin does seem to get a lot out of his teams, but faltering down the stretch it might bring that motivation level into question a little bit the rebels are definitely the more talented team on paper in this one they definitely have a lot of the star power but texas tech is plucky man like texas tech they're not going to back down from anybody and they haven't backed down from anybody this year so how do you see this playing out for both of these teams well you know on the texas tech side I think it's really important for them to jump out to a quick lead and play well in the trenches defensively. Ole Miss is one of the best running teams in the country. They've been exceptional this year. I'll talk about that again in a second. Uh, But this means that the Red Raiders are going to need to force the game script to go to the pass. You know, people think Lane Kiffin, high octane offense, it's passing. It's been seriously run based this year uh, and they haven't necessarily gotten the production that they did last year out of their passing game so if they can get to a point where Jackson Dart has to be the guy you know he struggled down the stretch a little bit and has really put Ole Miss in some hard situations when they get down if he gets pressured and he has to win the game with his arm I think Tech stands a really good shot to get off the field and win this game yes they're going to have to tackle on the open field yes they're going to have to get what they need to against the, the Ole Miss running backs but they're probably going to end up playing well and getting what they need to on the ground, they're going to have to find a way to get the ball out of their hands, you know? And I think that the way to do that is just through game script. I think it's entirely based on trying to get out to a 10, maybe 14 point lead early. I know that seems like a tall task against this offense, but you know, you can get them off the field, get a blitz, get a pressure and just find a way to execute on offense early. I think that's a great way to help them kind of get Ole Miss off their game. and, And then, you know, if they can just play well enough in the trenches you know, force them to execute on drives. I think that they can do a good job and get off the field, uh, bring this trophy home. If you're Ole Miss, I think it just comes down to getting your playmakers in space. There's no getting around it. They have probably the best running back tandem in college football. Quinshawn Jokins was sensational as a freshman. I mean, what else do you expect from a freshman but 1,400 yards and 17 total touchdowns? I mean, those are shocking numbers for a kid that was just in high school. And then Zach Evans, obviously, he's probably a better RB2 than most teams RB1. He almost had 1,000 yards uh, total on the year, nine touchdowns. Um, This Ole Miss offense basically runs through their running backs, and they're going to need to get going quick, and they need to make sure that they don't fall to that early lead like I was mentioning, right? With the exception of the Arkansas game, if you're successful against Ole Miss late in the season, it came down to shutting down the run game and forcing them to pass to win, right? The exception of the Arkansas game, obviously, being that they put up some gaudy, like, almost 700 yards of offense and still... That Arkansas game lose. is one that should never happen. <laughs> that was just stupid. There's no way around it. But regardless, if you can shut down the run game late in the season, that seems to be the formula to beating Ole Miss. You know, if they can commit to the run, if they can force the issue a little bit, I think that they're the better team and that they should win. Defensively, I think it's as easy as pressuring whoever Tech throws out at quarterback. They've struggled with some consistency this year. Definitely haven't had the best um, in terms of health either. And so, you know, the quarterback who's going to be playing, I think is going to be Shuck in this one, but I'm not 100% sure if he's going to end up coming in as a starter. But if he is the guy, 
He hasn't been the guy all year. He hasn't been consistent. And I think a little bit of pressure forcing him to kind of get into some down and distance issues, I think would be the best situation for them here. If they can force some longer situations, I think it bodes well for Ole Miss to end up getting to control possessions and and sort of wind clock and win this one pretty well. Tech's playing a little bit of defense this year. I don't know that they're playing defense at the clip that's going to be able to stop that Ole Miss rushing attack, but they're definitely playing. It's not your, it's not your father's Texas tech, right? They, they are no. playing a little bit of defense and I think they'll be able to hold their own pretty well. Where do you see this one ending up? Yeah, I do think that they'll play well enough on defense to keep this one close, but I do think Ole Miss probably runs away with it towards the end. Uh, I, I think this will probably be a little bit of a struggle early on. And I don't think we'll see lots of points coming out of the gate. Um, I do think it'll be a little bit of a failure to execute on both sides sort of early on. But I do think as the game wears on, look, Ole Miss is just so good in their running backs. They're going to wear on you. There's going to be some missed tackles towards the end of the game. I could see either Judkins or Evans maybe breaking off a last-minute run for a touchdown, you know, a big gainer, 60, 70-yard type run. Give me maybe Ole Miss 27, Texas Tech 21 in a game where, you know, Ole Miss just finds enough at the end. I hear you on that. I think, you know, the smart pick on this is Ole Miss. I don't know that I would bet on Tech with my actual money, but I'm going to pick Tech to win the game. Okay. Tech gets a late score, 35-31 to knock off Ole Miss. And look, I'm openly biased against Ole Miss. As long as I have (laughs) not against Ole Miss, I really don't like Lane Kiffin. He seems like he's been tweeting a lot lately, and that doesn't seem like it bodes well. Might be a little distracted. Exactly. So I'm going to roll with Tech. They cap off a really exciting year one, in my opinion, 35-31 with a win over Ole Miss. It's going to be a lot of fun, though. So make sure to tune in to this one if you like points. And make sure that you're following along with bowl season. Keep it locked right here as we keep on previewing all these games. Gracious, how about that? 